Welcome to the dungeon. Welcome to Hey, this is Rich Knapp with Common Joe Fire Videos and Linux All Innovations and Oxy. Um, yeah, I'm going to kind of take it a little bit more step, uh, one more step with my uh, skills and I'm going to uh, go into uh, doing a speed, an Oxy 3 speed build. Um, the reason why I say kind of challenge, you know, challenge myself here is because uh, I've done, been doing builds and videos and now, when you get into a speed helicopter, you're a lot higher head rates, and uh, you know your your tail's a lot faster. Especially now, like a 300 size. As you know, the smaller the helicopter, the more a vibration is amplified. Well, by doing a speed build, I'm gonna find out when I go fly, <laughs> when I'm finished, I fly. It's either gonna fly really nice, or it's gonna blow up in the air. Um, because, uh, you know, a speed bird has to be pretty vibe free and, uh, you know, you really have to have the setup really good. Now what I have here is I started out using my, uh, my SE, my uh, Aaron Rodgers Oxy. I've been using that for kind of like doing weight, weight difference between canopies. Um, as you see, I did a uh, uh, trim down of the landing skids. I'm not sure what Oxy's going to bring out, if they're going to bring out uh, some different landing skids for the actual and real official speed design. At this time, I'm just going to be building one and, uh, you know, streamlining it. Um, or, you know, building it all stock pretty much without the speed fuselage. Um, you know, I'm going to stay 6S. I'm going to be using, uh, you know, all the Oxy stock parts. You know, just, you know, like trim and modify the skids, that's it. Uh, you know, I'll be using my, uh, my uh, 3SX Demon, so I have it to bail out in case something goes wrong. Uh, I'm going to be using this frame. And then uh, I'm going to replace the SE stuff on a kit I have coming. Um, so I'll basically be using this stock frame and uh, just putting the stretch on it. And then, uh, putting a stretch on it, it'll still be the 6S. I'm going to change my pinion. Um, I'm not going to say the pinion I'm using and stuff. I will say I'm using a 2500 motor. Um, the 6S, 2500 kilo, uh, KV motor. I'm not going to say the pinion. There's the head speeds I'm running. I know it'll handle it. I've talked with uh, the designers, you know, Luca and, uh, you know, guys like, you know, Ter T uh, uh, Tarek and uh, Ramus, you know, like these different guys I've talked with them. I know the head speeds that it'll handle. But the thing is, I won't say what my head speeds are because I don't want to be responsible if a newer person does the, you know, does a build and is like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. He did it. So I'm not, and then he ends up getting hurt. So I'm not going to say what my head speeds are. Um, later this summer, I will be uh, radar t uh, ra doing a radar test on it. Um, but uh, at this time, this is what I have. I'm going to go back. I was going to do the carbon fiber canopy uh, to shave a little more weight off, but I'm going to go back to the stock canopy uh, for visibility. I will be making another video on the, uh, you know, the stretch kit, uh, which is uh, uh, 285 millimeter mains. Um, so I'll be doing a review on that, and I'm gonna be using it on my uh, speed build. But uh, this is what I have, and you know, it will be a true test of my uh, build skills, and uh, it's gonna be a fun little trip here. Uh, speed is a total different world from uh, scale, sport flying. 3D, it's a different world. It is. Uh, you have a lot of things to take in consideration. It isn't just slam full pitch and go forward. There's a lot more to it. I did my speed runs with my uh, SE out at the field recently and uh, quick little bugger. But yeah, it is different. Um, you know, there's a lot of timing between what you do. There's a lot of timing to it. Just like say doing a pyro flip or something like that. Uh, it is a different world. It's interesting, and uh, I'm only going to dabble in it, but 
I have a feeling it's going to be fun because I, I used to drag race cars. So I have a feeling it's going to be kind of a fun little bird version of car drag racing. So I'm going to build mine pretty much all speed, but you know, I got to look at my battery usage and maybe I'll do like a couple runs with it and then kind of flip it around a little bit, you know, sport flying. But um, I'm not anticipating when I'm done getting any more than uh, about a maybe a two minute flight out of it and uh, if you look at a lot of your speed birds that's what happens is you get the super fast speed but your uh, flight time isn't what it is for uh, um, you know the, the sport flying in 3D so but that's what I want to touch base on I'm going to actually fully start doing this speed build uh, um, later this week uh, and uh, I want to kind of touch base with it, yeah, on it because I'll be taking the speed build and then uh, Lynx is coming out with, uh, or Oxy and Lynx there, uh, they're coming out with the speed fuselage. It's going to be both for the standard link and the stretch link. And I'm going with a stretch link because I want that extra uh, dish size and uh, the tail authority. Uh, for uh, coming through the runs. I'm not sure if I want to do rate yet or if I want to do a head hold on it. Guys use both and uh, I got to figure out what works best for me. So, okay, well stay tuned. This is number one in the segment and I'll have more on the People speed build the time. coming soon. They say to me, what is the secret to success? The first rule is trust yourself. But what is most important is that you have to dig deep down, dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who? And I'm talking about not what your parents and teachers want you to be, but you. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people.